This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. The Bullheaded Harp from Tomb 789, also known as the Bullheaded Lyre and Soundbox, is currently contained at the Pennsylvania University Museum. The Bullheaded Harp and Soundbox is a significant archaeological find that relates to Sumerian art. The harp was found in the King's Grave at the Royal Cemetery of UR. The instrument was found with all its fragmented parts, including the harp and its accompanying soundbox. According to archaeologists, the harp was created around 2600 BC. When the harp was found, it consisted of a wooden harp, a soundbox that was covered with bearded bullhead, and the soundbox itself, which was adorned with gold and other precious stones. The adornments in the soundbox depict scenes that feature various types of bearded animals and people. In total, four scenes are depicted in the soundbox, and scholars think that they are depicting a party in the spirit world or the land of the dead. The scene depicting the scorpion man indicates the passage through which animals and human beings have to go through before they reach the world of the dead. It is also thought that all the bearded animals are from the land of spirits. The creator of the harp and the soundbox is unknown, but it is clear that he she used the beards to represent continuity and a sense of belonging in all his her characters. Instruments such as the bullheaded harp were commonly found in the grave sites of the rich people. It was common practice to play harps such as this one in funerals during the Sumerian period. Also, the depictions of the men in the soundbox are by the Sumerian art of this era. For example, the men in the soundbox are depicted in a composite view while the animals are depicted in profile, a common characteristic of Sumerian art. The scene's arrangements indicate that the creator of the harp was emphasizing the religious beliefs of the time, where it was believed that man dominates the beast. Hence, the heraldic bulls surround a more dominant force of nature, the man. Furthermore, the use of human-like beasts was a common feature in Eastern artworks. One of the most significant aspects of this archaeological find is that it represents one of the earliest instances of animal personification. The animals in the art scenes are attending a party as human beings would. Furthermore, the bullheaded lyre depicts one of the earliest instances of narrated scenes. From this piece of archaeology, it is also revealed that music was of great importance to Sumerians, whether they were living or dead. The elaborate artwork in the harp is evidence of how important music was to the Sumerians. Cultures that hold music in high regard also tend to be spiritual. The Sumerians also had strong beliefs in the spirituality of human beings. An example of another archaeological find that has artwork depicting different scenes is the work of Ace. However, the scenes in the work of Ace depict people offering sacrifices to Inanna, a Sumerian goddess. The idea of hierarchy is upheld through the scenes in the work of Ace, although instead of just animals, the vases scenes depict other hierarchical elements such as water, earth, and gods. The work of Ace also features bearded animals, and this shows religion and music were important factors of the Sumerian culture. Did you like this archaeology, the bullheaded harp and soundbox sample? To get more works like this one, make sure to check out the database of academic paper examples at ivypanda.com. You will find thousands of samples for all your study needs.